The number of confirmed coronavirus cases across the world quickly rises. People are struggling to prevent the spread of the deadly respiratory disease. Kim bo Young sheds light on the typical symptoms and ways to avoid contracting the disease. With four cases of the Wuhan coronavirus confirmed in Korea, many are worried about the possibility of being infected. In order to calm those concerns, it is helpful to know which symptoms are a sign that you should see a doctor and what can be done to avoid getting sick. As with other respiratory diseases, patients who have contracted the virus will develop a cough, buildup of phlegm, and a slightly sore throat. These are usually accompanied by a fever. There aren't any particular symptoms that differentiate the Wuhan coronavirus from other diseases. As a result, people who have visited China, especially the Hubei area in the past two weeks, and are showing symptoms should call 1339 and follow their instructions. As the Wuhan coronavirus doesn't have any distinct symptoms, the expert says that some basic rules should be followed in order to prevent infection. The easiest and most effective way to avoid catching the disease is by washing your hands. Instead of a quick run under the faucet, people should wash their hands thoroughly under running water for at least 30 seconds. They should take enough time to clean every part of their hands, including between their fingers and underneath their fingernails. The virus enters the human body through the mucous membrane of the nose and mouth. So wash your hands frequently, and if possible, do not touch your face if your hands might have been infected. Whenever walking along busy streets or visiting medical institutions, you should wear a mask to prevent the droplets that carry viruses from spreading. Although the expert says wearing a mask cannot prevent catching the virus 100 percent, it can certainly be helpful. If you are not wearing a mask, you need to cover your nose and mouth with your sleeve when you cough or sneeze. Following coughing etiquette is the first step to prevent the spread of the virus to other people. People who need to travel China should also take extra precautions. In particular, people who are traveling in China should avoid contact with wild animals or poultry and should not go to markets or medical institutions where there is an increased possibility of being infected. After returning from Wuhan, if symptoms such as fever and respiratory problems are shown within two weeks, you should call 1339. It is accessible 24 hours a day. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.